Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack Game of Thrones, episode three of season seven. Coming off Stormborn or episode two, there was a lengthy post discussion after that one, sharing mm -hmm. my thoughts, Igly's thoughts, Corey's thoughts. So definitely check that out. Um, Igly, is there anything you didn't mention that you'd like to mention now? So, like, this is our first big move in Westeros for Danny's faction, you know? And it, like, it begins with a goddamn faceplant. It's, it's actually a travesty. I don't know to what degree this, like, this is affecting our, like, navy. I don't know how much of it was dedicated to, like, getting to Dorne. Because, like, I know what the composites of her army I just don't know how much of that navy it was. And if this domino effects into them like basically just losing the majority of their navy and then Dragonstone's an island so it could be surrounded preventing supplies from getting through. We're going to have a Sir Davos situation and Sir Davos is going with John to Dragonstone. I am imagining the worst case scenario where they basically have to bail on dragonstone and fly north on the back of dragons um that means i don't know what that means for the entirety of the army because obviously you can't fit all them bitches on a dragon uh but like i'm talking about like key players john Tyrion, uh sir davos potentially and maybe even leaving sir, da sir davos but you can't if if we need to evacuate and we can't because we're surrounded. That that's our only out, you know. Mm -hmm. So, what does that mean for the Darth Rocky, Darth Rocky, uh, and everyone else she's brought along on this journey? Uh, I hope it doesn't mean bad things. But I that that's where my mind's at. The worst case scenario. Okay. Anything else? That's pretty much it. Right I'm now. so proud of you. What, there wasn't no witty comeback? No, I just, I know you're proud of me. If you enjoy these reactions, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when these uploads go live. Four weeks available on our Patreon early, so check that out in the description below. There's also early access to other movies and shows over there, as well as full links to everything, so... Definitely check out our Patreon. There's also a link to join our free Discord in the description with links to the Patreon and links to all of our social media. So follow all those, join the Discord, join the Patreon. Let's get into this reaction. Let's, Let's do it. Go. The waves. This is a real place you can visit, Igly. Yeah, I've been there. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, we're here. We're, hey, what a long time no see. They row faster than Gendry, I guess. <laughs> I guess so, dude. Yo, dap him up. The bastard of Winterfell. The dwarf of Casterly Rock. <laughs> hmm. Smiles. We lost each other atop the wall. There we go. You were pissing off the edge, if I remember right. <laughs> Picked up some scars along the road. It's been a long road. But we're both still here. That's sick. I'm Tyrion Lannister. That was Seaworth. Ah, <laughs> Union Knight. We fought on opposite sides at the Battle of Blackwater Bay. <laughs> Unluckily for me. Kick my ass. And Sandy is the Queen's most trusted advisor. Welcome to Dragonstone. If you wouldn't mind handing over your weapons. Of course. How did they get past the Navy? Oh, I guess they came down. Yeah, that's fine. Don't lose that, it's important. Valyrian steel. <laughs> We're just taking the boat. <laughs> Please, this way. I was born in the island of North. Ah, I hear it's beautiful down there. Palm trees and butterflies. I'm doing myself. <laughs> Damn, okay. This place has changed. <laughs> For the better? <laughs> and Sansa. I hear she's alive and well. She is. Does she miss me terribly? <laughs> a sham marriage. I 
and unconsummated. I didn't ask. Well, it was. She's much smarter than she lets on. True. She's starting to let on. <laughs> Good. At some point, I want to hear how a Night's Watch recruit became king in the north. As long as you tell me how a Lannister became hand to Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> Long the stories they can tell. Stark men don't fare well when they travel south. True. Unfortunate. Really but true. I'm not a Stark. You're a Targaryen. Ah, oh, dude, the dragon, the dragon come by. It's it's a sign, dude. <laughs> they're 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 being coy with it. <laughs> you get used to it. Yeah. I'd say you get used to them. Oh, my fault. Damn. Are you spoiled? You never really do. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an awkward. My goat. And like. I wondered why you weren't there to meet our guests. I've done my part. I've She's selfless. Fire together. She is kind. I did not part on good terms with the king of the north, or his advisor. Why? Because of mistakes I made. It had to be done. Terrible mistakes. Okay. It's like sacrifice. <laughs> I would only be a distraction if I stayed. So where See, you selfless. Volantis. If you don't mind my saying, I don't think you should return to Westeros. I'm not sure you'd be safe here. Oh, I will return, dear spider. One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. Mm hmm? They're both foreigners. It's She's ominous. seen his death. I'd be a little I spooked. Mean, Varys is ride or die. He wasn't planning on dipping. What's that? What is that? This shit's so hype. Seven seasons leading up to this. You stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne. Rightful Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms, the Mother of Dragons, the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the Breaker of Chains. It's a mouthful. This is Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Brief. He's King in the North. <laughs> Thank you for traveling so far, my lord. Uh, apologies. I have a flea bottom accent, I know. But John Snow is king in the north, your grace. He's not a lord. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. I am not. Ooh. No. Oh. oh. Well, that is unfortunate. You've traveled all this way to break faith with House Targaryen? Break faith? Your father burned my grandfather alive. He burned my uncle alive. He would have burned the Seven Kingdoms. My kingdom. father was an evil man on behalf of House Targaryen. I ask your forgiveness for the crimes he committed against your family. On behalf of and House Targaryen population not to judge one. A daughter by the sins of her father. Who? Centuries of peace and prosperity with a Targaryen sitting on the Iron Throne and a Stark serving as Warden of the North. Seems like I a good duo. House Targaryen, Jon Snow. Bend the knee and I will name you Warden of the North. Together, we will save this country from those who would destroy it. We just wanted dragons, man. Help You're, right. You're not guilty of your father's crimes. And I'm not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Then why are you here? We can begin anew. Because I need your help, and you need mine. I need your help. Not to defeat Cersei. You could storm King's Landing tomorrow and the city would fall. Let's Hell, we it. almost took it and we didn't even have dragons. Almost. But you haven't stormed King's <laughs> Landing. Why not? The only reason I can see is you don't want to kill thousands of innocent people. It's the fastest way to win the war, but you won't do it. You're better than Cersei. True. Still, that doesn't explain why I need your help. We're children playing at a game screaming that the rules aren't fair. You told me you liked this man. I do. <laughs> <laughs> He's refused to call me queen. He's refused to bow, and now he's calling me a child. I believe he's Let him finish. all of us children. Your Grace, everyone you know will die before winter's over if we don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can see, you are the enemy to the north. I'm not your enemy. The dead are the enemy. The dead. If they get past the wall and we're squabbling amongst ourselves... 
Chill. We're finished. Come on, Danny. You saw the vision of the wall. I wonder if your father knew his best friend sent assassins to murder a baby girl in her crib. What about that? <clears throat> Not that it matters now, of course. I have been sold like a brood mare. I've been shamed and betrayed and defiled. Do you know what kept me standing through all those years in exile? Faith. Not in any gods. Not in myths and legends. In myself. In Daenerys Targaryen. The world hadn't seen a dragon in centuries until my children were born. The Dothraki hadn't crossed the sea. Any sea. They did for me. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And I will. No one's saying you can't. You'll be rolling over a graveyard if we don't defeat the Night King. You were the first to bring Dothraki to Westeros. He is the first to make allies of wildlings and Northmen. He was Hype named him up. Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He was named King in the North. Not because of his birthright. He has no birthright. He's a damn bastard. All those hard sons of bitches chose him as their leader. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his own life. Damn, go off. It is a... Uh, said a bit too much. So Davos is a good hype man. There's no time for any of this. While we stand here debating, it takes no time to bend the knee. Pledge your sword to her cause. And why would I do that? He's trying to help. I mean no offense, your grace, but I don't know you. As far as I can tell, your claim to the throne rests entirely on your father's name, and my own father fought to overthrow the Mad King. The Lords of the North place their trust in me to lead them, and I will continue to do so as well as I can. That's fair. It's also fair to point out that I'm the rightful Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. By declaring yourself King of the Northernmost Kingdom, you are in open rebellion. Let's not do that. Varys, where you been? The Navy. You must forgive my manners. We're just you getting word of that. Tired after your long journey. Am I your you can prisoner? tell. Not yet. Okay. You can tell Tyrion's like trying to prevent things from escalating. He's like being very cautious. Yeah. Our Ironborn and Dornish allies were attacked en route to Dawn. And? Two or three ships escaped. The rest sunk or captured. Ilaria and the Sand Snakes dead or captured. The Greyjoys dead or captured. All of them. Oh, they got his ass. Oh, God. Your sister's dead. You're on her side. But you got away. I couldn't save her. I tried. You wouldn't be here if you tried. Oh, man. Oh, my God. They're parading through the streets. Disgusting. This is the life. <laughs> Look at them. Cheering for great joy. <laughs> okay, dude. I have to be honest. Making me hard. Okay, dude. Did you see little Theon's face right before he jumped overboard? Oh no! What a <laughs> <laughs> I hate Euron, bro. Yeah. He's such a slimy bastard, dude. Oh. Spit on him. Okay. I'm raising some food here. That's crazy. He used that food 150 years ago. Well, he could have. Is that bro park your car in here? My queen. Hopefully he doesn't shit. Hopefully it shits, actually. On behalf of all of your loyal subjects, I give you what no other man could give. Okay. Justice for your murdered daughter. She's a spitter. You've proven What's yourself the greatest captain on the 14 seas. There's only one reward I want. Jamie? You shall have what your heart desires. Oh? Jamie? When the war is won. Oh, okay. We're leading him on. More. Get back in line, simp. 
with Euron Greyjoy commanding our naval forces and Jaime Lannister leading our armies, <laughs> the sons and daughters of Westeros shall defend our country. If you have any advice at all, I would love to hear it. When we have an hour or two to speak as brothers. Oh. Does she like it gentle or rough? The finger in the bum. <laughs> 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 Jamie? <laughs> Jamie, kill him. <coughs> Take him out back. Shove your fist in his ass. That's what he was just asking about. <laughs> I want you to know I understand. Even Holy shit, not you, this song and dance again. The fury that drives you. I close my eyes. I can hear the sound of Oberyn's skull break. The sound of your scream. I never heard a sound like that. I thought that's true love. Her lipstick is popping. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> that day he really did. If only he hadn't taunted him. He could have walked away and left poor Sir Gregor to die. But that wasn't your sure. lover's way, was it? She was mine. And you took her from me. Why did you do that? Did not grieve Tom in this way, wow. He betrayed her. Your daughter's a beauty too. Holy shit, dude. She's really doing this. Brown eyes. Those lips. I imagine she's your favorite. I know, I know, we're not supposed to have favorites. Still, we're only human. Cersei definitely has favorites? Goddamn. We love whom we love. Including your brother. You chose to murder my daughter. You must have felt powerful after you made that choice. Do you feel powerful now? It's gonna kill her. Or worse. I lie in bed and I stare at the canopy and imagine ways of killing my enemies. How to destroy Ilaria Sand, the woman who murdered my only daughter. I thought about having Sir Gregor crush your skull the way he did Oberyn's. It would be poetic, I suppose, but fast. Too fast. I thought about having him crush your daughter's skull. She's so beautiful. The thought of this lovely face cracking open like a duck egg. No, it's just not right. Mama! <laughs> Is she doing the same thing? Or... Oh, the lipstick! Are you f- Corey! Never enough to learn what poison you used to murder Marcella. A long goodbye was at it. A long farewell. God damn. Difficult to say, hours, days. It depends on the subject's constitution. But death is certain. Oh yes, you're quite certain. Your daughter will die here in this cell. And you'll be here watching when she does. You'll be here the rest of your days. If you refuse to eat or force food down your throat, you will live to watch your daughter rot, to watch that beautiful face collapse to bone and dust, all the while contemplating the choices you've made. Make sure the guards change the torches every few hours. I don't want her to miss a thing. So God I, damn. I actually didn't remember okay. the poison lipstick. I was just like, damn, her <laughs> lips are really colorful. That's crazy. Jamie, you gotta do something. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, we're just getting off on it. Got her in the mood. Uh, hope she was thorough. <laughs> Oh, okay. Cheek cheeks? cheeks. She's. Don't slip a thumb in there. <laughs> Forgive me, Your Grace. The visitor from Bravos has arrived. Good. And we'll need fresh sheets for the bed. At once, Your Grace. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Is there from Bravos? My condolences, Your Grace, on the death of your son. From all reports, he was a fine young man. Oh, yeah, Iron Bank? I send you here to offer condolences. The destruction of the Sept of Baylor was a tragic accident. Indeed. But sometimes <laughs> tragedies are necessary to restore order and rational leadership. The Iron Bank wants his goal. It was a gas leak. In your experience, how do bankers usually fare with revolutionaries? The Lannisters owe the Iron Man quite a lot of money, but Lannisters always pay their debts. Oh, yeah? The former slaves. Or Dothraki, or dragons. Your father's daughter, indeed. 
Give me a fortnight. Stay in King's Landing as my honored guest. And when you return to Bravos, I swear to you, my debt will be paid in full. She really has inherited Highlands. I don't know what to call it exactly. We're just posed up. I came down here to brood over my failure to predict the Greyjoy attack. You're making it difficult. Another spot. You be brooding bros. You're more brooding than I do. <laughs> How do I convince people who don't know me that an enemy they don't believe in is coming to kill them all? Good question. I know it's proof. a good question. I'm looking for an answer. Daenerys could have sailed for Westeros long ago, but she didn't. Instead, she stayed where she was and saved many people from horrible fates. While you're our guest here, you might consider asking them what they think of the Mad King's daughter. Perspective is good. Dragon glass. Yes, volcanic glass. Obsidian. He says mm -hmm. you have a tremendous amount of it here. Why are we talking about glass? I'd very much like to believe that Jon Snow is wrong. But a wise man once said that you should never believe a thing simply because you want to believe it. Which wise man said this? I don't remember. Are you trying to present your own statements as ancient wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might as well be. You never do that. To you. <laughs> you don't have to believe him. Let him mine the dragon glass. Yeah, what are you going to use it for? Worthless. You didn't even know it was here. What was that Sir Davos said? About taking a knife in the heart for his people. Did you notice that? You must allow Don't worry about that. It's a fancy. It's dreary in the north. Where are the dogs going? <laughs> Amazing thing to see. I named them for my brothers, Viserys and Rhaegar. They're both gone now. Mm. You lost two brothers as well. People thought dragons were gone forever, but here they are. Perhaps we should all be examining what we think we know. You've been talking to Tyrion. <laughs> Here's my hand. I will allow you to mine the dragon glass and forge weapons from it. Let's go. Any resources or men you need, I will provide for you. Can you... Okay, for mining, I guess. Thank you. So you believe me, then, about the Night King and the Army of the Dead? You'd better get to work, Jon Snow. A non-answer. Yo, Tyrion's a goat. Yep. He's the only thing keeping this together. It's the glue. We need to start building up our grain stores with regular shipments from every keep in the north. If the entire north has to flee to Winterfell, they won't have enough time to bring wagon loads of grain with them. Smart, okay. Mr. Wall, can you see to it? Are they covering those breastplates in leather? No, my lady. Shouldn't they be? Once the real cold comes? They should indeed. Pardon me, my lady. Dude, she's cooking. Do that. Why isn't there leather on these? Command suits you. The northerners are all facing north. Bigly and Littlefinger I agree on something? From beyond the wall. So they should Let's say that. Fight every battle, everywhere, always. In your mind, everyone is your enemy. Everyone is your friend. Every possible series of events is happening all at once. Hey, Doctor Strange. Just living in the multiverse, yeah. <laughs> Lady Sansa, at the gate. Who? Who could it be? Arya? Arya? Gendry? Yeah, no, it's not Gendry. Br Bran, you made it here first. Welcome, brother. Surprise. You didn't want to send a raven ahead of time. You just wanted to show up. Hello, Sansa. <laughs> oh, man. Are we going to download more knowledge? <laughs> I wish John were here. Yes. I need to speak to him. What do you got to tell him? You're Lord of Winterfell now. I can never be Lord of Winterfell. His demeanor. I can never be Lord of anything. I'm the three-eyed raven. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's difficult to explain. It means I can see everything. It's all pieces now. Fragments. Mm. When the long night comes again, I need to be ready. How do you know all this? The Three-Eyed Raven taught me. I thought you were the Three-Eyed Raven. I told There's you another. it's difficult to explain. He's a successor. Bran. I'm sorry for all that's happened to you. I'm sorry it had to happen here. 
in our home. He already knows. Or they had a conversation. It was so beautiful that night. Snow falling. Just like now. And you were so beautiful. In your white wedding dress. I have to go back inside, Bran. How does he know that? I'll stay a bit longer. I don't know if those are good memories to bring up right now. How we doing? Pretty good work, yeah? Hmm. That healed up pretty fast. Does it hurt? A bit. A bit? <laughs> Less than before. The infection no longer appears to be active. One could almost be forgiven for thinking that the entire upper layer of diseased skin was debrided. And the underlying region treated with some sort of unguent. Don't know anything about that. I just started feeling better. I yeah, it just fell it off the rest that did it. Oh yeah. Huh. Okay, that's what we're doing. And the climate. <laughs> the climate. Mm hmm It's the humidity. You're free to go, sir. Charlie, I'd like to speak with you in my study. Yeah, he's not thing. dumb. He knows. Where will you go? One place. I surrendered to this sickness the moment I first saw it. I knew it would kill me, and I killed myself before I could. Daenerys Stormborn convinced me otherwise. The only place for me is back with her. If you see my I friend Joe. life. Her. And you. He father saved me more than once. It's the least I could do. Perhaps our paths will cross again. I hope they do. Me too. Dab him up. How long's it been since like he's touched another human? It's been a minute. Cause like other way he couldn't. Yep. Otherwise he would transmit the disease. So that like is a very kind gesture. Who told you to treat him? My heart. No one. You could have infected yourself and others. You could have devastated the entire citadel. But you didn't. It's a meticulous, difficult procedure. Many maesters whose chains are heavy with healing links have attempted it and failed. Does that mean he gets one? And he gets to hit, read the hidden annals? I read the book and followed the instructions. <laughs> YouTube tutorial? That man is alive because of you. You should be proud. Let's go, Sam. You cooked. Thank you, Archmaest. All these manuscripts and scrolls are rotting away. I need you to make copies of them. <laughs> this is, there's a trick here. You're expecting a reward. This is his reward. Your reward is not being immediately expelled from the Citadel. You better get started. Why these the ones specifically? The mites, they like flesh as well. Paper mites. I, mean, I think that's fair. Yeah, they, they, though, they do look moldy. We need to find Euron Greyjoy's fleet and sink it. Your Grace, he's already destroyed a good portion of our fleet to send our remaining ships after him. I'm not talking about sending our ships after him. Dragons? It only takes one arrow. It's too great a risk. You're too important. True. This is kind of hitting home right now, huh? Costly rock. The Unsullied will be there soon. No one has ever taken the rock. The Lannister army is still the army my father built. Well trained and well provisioned. 10,000 men at least. Okay. Gracie is coming. Oh, we're, okay, okay. They will be ready. The gates of Castle Rock are impregnable. <laughs> God damn it. We will be at a disadvantage. Many men oh man. Oh, dude. Just as my father said this is just Mountain Blade. Interesting thing about my father. He built our house up from near ruin. He built our army. He built Casterly Rock as we know it. But he didn't build the sewers. Ooh. That was beneath him. So he gave the job to the lowest person he could find. Me. Knowledge? Was right. I was low. The company I kept, low. Women mostly. They weren't welcome at the rock. Couldn't walk them through the front gates. I couldn't have them in my chambers. So he brought through the sewers. Building the sewers, I threw in something for myself. It was a passage that began in an out-of-the-way cove by the sea and ended beneath one of the main guard towers. Costly rock is an impregnable fortress. But it hasn't opened. 
Damn. This is a good friend of mine once said, give me ten good men and I'll impregnate the bitch. <laughs> Love that quote. And so it begins. They will face the bulk of the Lannister forces. That's still tough. They will be outnumbered. Six. My sister's armies fight for her out of fear. The Unsullied will be fighting for something greater. They will be fighting for freedom and the person who gave it to them. And that is why they will triumph. <laughs> God damn. Got him against the wall. The door. Okay. Looking good. In Casonesco, Sidri Hibesi. Cara Sidri. Oh. Oh. Oh, hell no. This just turned into like a reverse siege. Where are the rest of the Lannisters? Holy shit. How many L's are we gonna take, dude? That dude's helmet's not on straight. So they used it as a bait. Oh god. What now? It's done. It is. And now the rains weep o'er our halls. Did we fight well? Uh, as well as could be expected. It was never our forty. Golden roses, indeed. Your brother and his new queen thought you would be defending Casterly Rock. The truth is, Casterly Rock isn't worth much anymore. So you just let them take it? For now, they won't be able to hold it. Eventually, they'll be forced to abandon their position and march all the way across Westeros. Dude. And you took your army, your real army, and went to where they weren't. As Rob Stark did to me at Whispering Wood. There are always lessons in failures. Yes. You must be very wise by now. <laughs> My father always said I was a slow learner. How will you do it? With that sword? That was Joffrey's sword, wasn't it? Not that he ever used it. What did he call it? Widow's Whale. He really was a wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did unspeakable things to protect my family. But your sister has done things I was incapable of imagining. That was my prize mistake. A failure of imagination. <laughs> She's a monster, you do know that. When people are living peacefully in the world she built. Peacefully? Do you really think they'll wring their hands over the way she built it? You love her. You really do love her. You poor fool. <laughs> She'll be the end of you. Possibly. I believe that. She's a disease. I regret my role in spreading it. You will too. I think we're done here. How will it happen? Cersei had several ideas. Whipping you through the streets and beheading you in front of the Red Keep. Flaying you alive and hanging you from the walls of King's Landing. I talked her out of those. Hmm. A kindness, I guess. Will there be pain? No, I made sure of that. That's good. Down the hatch. He did not hesitate. It's like Corey finishing his soda pre-recording. Hmm. I'd hate to die like your son. Clawing at my neck. Foam and bile spilling from my mouth. Eyes blood red. Skin purple. Must have been horrible for you. Are we are we As a admitting it? God, was a father. It was horrible enough for me. A shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. We're confessing here. You see, I'd never seen the poison work before. <laughs> oh man, if Jamie knew he wouldn't have vouched. Chelsea. I wanted to know he was. I mean, we, we all knew. But goddamn.
last words. I want her to know it was me. That's crazy. I, res- I respect it, honestly. Okay, so... I feel like we're like, we're like, we're, we're up in the script pacing a little bit. This episode. Yeah. Cause we got, we got like two battles in one. It felt like a very long episode for how much happened. A lot of it was just talking and I loved it because it was just discussions between characters. I've been waiting for so long to talk. So like some of the things I mentioned earlier in the season, like the fight, like the, the meeting, the meeting between Danny and John and it was it was pretty good like they're uh, obviously like they've had their two completely separate journeys and a different set of priorities so like them not seeing eye to eye at the beginning makes sense but they eventually reached something of like a mutual understanding a lot of it was kind of guided uh, with Tyrion and then Sir Davos with the with the hyping, uh, and it was just a really cool conversation to see. What isn't cool to see is how many goddamn L's were taken on this conquest or claim for the throne, because like nothing has gone our way. We've been checked in every situation. Cassie Rock. They read that shit. Euron is a, is a fast man. Like, I mean, I guess I don't. Well, so like, I don't know the exact path that was taken, but like, or because like they they, they came they came to Castle Rock by boat, of course, and then Euron just rolled up behind them and just torched their shit. And now they're just stuck. They're st- essentially stranded in a foreign land without, and li- like, there's no point of staying in the castle. There's nothing there. They've already wiped it out. It's just every single, like, in all our allies have been effectively dealt with. We have nobody. We have nobody. Our units are divided in like two separate points uh, in Westeros, two opposite points, essentially. It's not a good look right now. No. It's it's hard to like appreciate like the good that happened uh because of like just the subsequent losses we were, were taken as well. I think flee f- I think fleeing to the north is going to become like a viable option at this point. I don't know what the Dar- the Darth Rocky do at this stage. Because we don't have many boats left. They're not all going to fit on John's boat. You know? So, it's, 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 it's a tough situation. I can't fathom. I, I mean, like, this episode is just, um, kind of increased my hate for Cersei. And you're on as well. I mean, there's a, there's an aspect of it of getting even. But like Cer- Cersei is a monster at this stage of things, and she could, we're just kind of doubling down on that cruelty. I'm surprised she didn't do worse, if anything. Yeah, I mean, we've seen her do worse. We already know what the mountain has done before. I so. was expecting the same thing, like, and I, I was, I was preparing myself for that and to be disgusted again. But I guess Cersei just wanted to get even as opposed to doing more mental and physical damage like that. Uh but yeah. I don't I don't really know what to say. We got some we got confirmations for the dragon names finally. I was kinda wrong. No, you weren't. You were right. No. I was right on two of them. You One were of right them on I, three, I thought. I well one of them, I said it was named after the unborn child. Yeah, what was mm. his name going to be? Rago? Yeah, no. I think so. Yes. Yeah. 
but it it was in fact named after her brother Rhaegar. Close enough. Which, yeah. Rhaegar was named after Rhaegar to begin with. So. Okay. So like, but like, the, the correct answer, different, different pathway. You, to you it. can just take it, brother. Just take it. I'll, I I can't I can't take it fully, man. You're so full of shit, dude. But it's cool to see that finally. Uh I don't know. Uh Sansa in Winterfell. Kind of doing a good job. Yep. You know, Littlefinger is like talking in riddles saying you have to I mean I I understand the message Littlefinger is trying to in place basically prepare for every situation uh but like I don't know I don't know it's still it's still tough to fully feel it's still tough to feel comfortable around Littlefinger <laughs> okay I mean like I'm just saying like it's I, I don't I, I don't think he's wrong in that situation for what he said actually yeah. Cut, prepare because Cersei will eventually turn her eye north. If anything, <laughs> that's kind of like the only place left to go. I mean, besides Dragonstone, considering we've dealt with the enemies south, dealt with the enemies to the we- to the to the, to the west, the west, <laughs> the west. What's west? Of north Westeros, is the west. Yeah, Westos. I don't know. Anyway, so North is the only place left to go. And they're kind of steamrolling right now. And we have yet to employ dragons. So, it's going good. Good time. Uh, the, the reunion between Sansa and Bran was actually really heartwarming. I couldn't stop smiling. In, a, in addition to like every other kind of character interaction, like in the beginning of the episode. Uh, it was just really cool to see. Bran, I didn't expect him to change that much, but like mm-hmm. he basically has what is essentially all the world's knowledge crammed into his noggin. His, I know his hard drive is like teetering on being full. Yeah, he had to delete his emotions to make space for all of that. <laughs> yeah. So like he is, his demeanor is completely different. I don't really know what he was going on about seeing Sansa on our wedding day like yeah. I, I a little bit of a weird thing but i guess just that's just kind of the state of mind he's in I, and i'm they, assuming there's just a lot of weird let her know that you know when i say i'm the three-eyed raven and i can see everything past present uh I, i'm legit like i know you got hey, married let me right bring here. up your worst trauma yeah, that is a little, like it. yeah i don't i don't know if that was just to further like s- show like how kind of not necessarily twisted, but how differently he's viewing things. Uh, because like in, 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 when his mind is racing that much, the vision of his sister in a wedding dress perhaps is like something that he views as beautiful. The context surrounding it, I don't like, is disgusting, of course. Uh, but perhaps that's just like he is tra- having trouble processing all those memories. So it, it, the fragments are coming out. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot. To, there's a lot to divulge there. <sighs> Seeing Jorah be okay is cool. Um, hopefully, we can get to Dragonstone in time before we abandon it. And we got. We're getting. We're getting. We're getting the Dragon Glass. Hopefully, we can get that up to the north in time. Uh Winterfell is in a dire strait. Because we have, we're good. We're gonna get goddamn sandwiched by the Lannisters and the Night King. So that's cool. Everything is going wrong, more or less. So, a lot of dubs, a lot of good stuff to look forward to. I don't really know sure. know where to go with that now. Favorite scene, Corey. So I loved uh, all the scenes where John and Daenerys and Tyrion and Davos and Masande and Varys, just the whole gang was talking, uh, getting to know each other, not trusting each mm-hmm. other, hyping each other up. But I think my favorite scene is definitely 
the end scene where it starts off as like a battle plan, but then it transitions into it actually happening. Like Tyrion's talking about the sewers and how he made his uh, secret entrance and they infiltrate uh, Casterly mm-hmm. Rock, which at this point, I, I think this is the first point in Game of Thrones we actually get to see it, right, Blake? Like inside mm-hmm. of Casterly Rock. Yep. Um, so yeah, going in there was sick. All the Unsullied battling the Lannisters and winning and then it's like twist uh, Euron pulled up who we hate but then mm. before you even have time to catch your breath you got uh Jamie and Randall and Braun and Dickon pulling up to Highgarden and uh you know it just transitions to all the um Tyrells being dead stacking bodies and then we go have that discussion with Elena and then she reveals it to Jamie and like the look on his face. It's just such a good scene. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, she gets the last laugh. She has to be the most petty, even in death. The Queen of Thorns. I'm about it, bro. <laughs> Honestly, f them. That was a close one. That I was a close was, one. I had to restrain myself. Since you claim that one, I'll claim the Danny John scenes. I mean, they're kind of like a toss up for me. All of them. Okay. Um, I really enjoy the first scene where it's like Daenerys, Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons, and then Jon Snow's like, ah, or Jon Snow is like, Jon Snow, King of the North. Uh, but I also really like when they're interacting over the bridge overlooking the bay, and that's when Daenerys lets um, Jon mine the dragon glass. I like that scene a lot too, because it's much mm-hmm. more candid, much less pressure. Uh, and just like nicer so yeah yeah okay i gotta pee me too okay if you enjoyed this reaction okay. hit that like button subscribe okay. hit that notification bell so you don't miss when these uploads go live we have four weeks early access available on patreon check that out in the description below there's also a link to our free discord and all our socials see you guys in the next one see ya see ya